brought to you by GTA. We start with you. It was in the early morning hours of March 4, 2020, when former UFC fighter John Tuck allegedly raped a 21-year-old woman behind the Weston Chapel in Tumon. Now he is on trial facing criminal sexual conduct charges. Prosecuting the case, Assistant Attorney General Rochelle Canto tells the jury this is a case about consent that was never given, and described how the victim was on her menstrual cycle and told the defendant multiple times no. The evidence will show that this is a case where the defendant overpowered a drunk young woman and forcibly raped her. The victim is originally from the States. She was here on island working as a dancer at Foxy's nightclub. As Canto detailed that after finishing up at work, the victim went across the street to Jardy's restaurant where she encountered the defendant. He took her to the Weston Chapel. When they didn't go inside the chapel, he took her around the chapel to the side of the chapel that overlooks the cliff where nobody could ever hear her speak. And this is where he sexually assaulted. Canto states that the victim then ran back into the restaurant and confided with her friend that she was raped. The friend named Coco took a video on her phone confronting the defendant. <laughs> The video was played back and brought into evidence during the prosecution's case in chief. And prior to this, defense counsel Randy Cunliffe noted the words exchanged in the video during his opening statements. You will hear Coco accused John of raping. And you will hear John say, Did I rape you? Are you saying I raped you? Cunliffe depicting the incident not as rape, but rather as consensual sex and painting the picture that the victim plotted the crime, as he said she had plans to sue Tuck for monetary damages. On March 3rd, 2020, Mr. Tuck, along with a gentleman by the name of Larry, Hoping Joe Hoping Noble, who was a NFL player who had come to law for a, some sort of a program, and one of Larry's friends, by the name of Ben, went out in that evening. During the evening, they stopped and took boxes. You will hear testimony that while Jonathan Tuck, Larry Bolo, and his friend were at the boxes, this <laughs> saw somebody approach John and ask him for his autograph. About 30 minutes after the alleged rape, the victim reported the walk-in criminal sexual conduct complaint at the Dededo precinct. The responding officers were the first witnesses to testify. This trial is ongoing.